Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The India's first mission to moon that is Chandrayaan 1 was launched on 22nd October 2008 followed by Chandrayaan 2 in 2019. It was India's first attempt to do a soft landing on surface of the moon. Though the mission's lander crashed into moon late in landing process, ISRO has shared that the orbiter is still working and helping to study moon from a distance. Chandrayaan 3 is a follow-on mission of Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate end-to-end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. ISRO has planned to launch Chandrayaan 3, the third mission to moon, on June 2023. The Chandrayaan-3 will consist of an indigenous lander module, propulsion module and a rover module with an objective of developing and demonstrating new technologies required for interplanetary missions. The lander will have capability to soft land at a specified lunar site and deploy the rover which will carry out in-situ chemical analysis of lunar surface during the course of its mobility. The lander and the rover have scientific payloads to carry out experiments on the lunar surface apart from this the propulsion module also has one scientific payload as a value addition which will be operated post separation of lander module the launcher identified for chandrayaan 3 is gslv mark 3 the gslv mark 3 is also called lvm3 and is a new heavy lift launch vehicle of isro for achieving a 400 kg spacecraft launch capability to GTO that is geosynchronous transfer orbit in a cost effective manner LMV3 is a three stage launch vehicle consist of two solid propellant S200 strap on and core stages comprising of L110 liquid stage C25 cryogenic stage and equipment bay and encapsulated assembly with a lift off mass of 640 tons This 43.5 meter tall three-stage launch vehicle gives ISRO a full self-reliance in launching heavier communication satellites that weighs up to 4000 kg in GTO. The cryogenic upper stage of LVM3 vehicle that is C25 stage is powered by a C20 engine working with LOX LH2 propellant combination. This engine develops a nominal thrust of 186 0.36 kN in vacuum. The flight acceptance hot test of C20 cryogenic engine that will power the cryogenic upper stage of LVM3 was successfully tested on February 24, 2023 at ISRO's propulsion complex Mahendragiri in Tamil Nadu. The hot test was carried out for a planned duration of 25 seconds at the high altitude test facility. All the propulsion parameters during test were found satisfactory and closely matched with prediction. The cryogenic engine will be further integrated with the propellant tanks, stage structure and associated fluid lines to realize the fully integrated flight cryogenic stage. Now this flight acceptance hot test of C20 cryogenic engine comes a day after Chandrayaan-3 lander successfully completed the crucial EMI EMC that is electromagnetic interference and electromagnetic compatibility test at UR Rao satellite center in Bengaluru this test is conducted for satellite missions to ensure the functionality of satellites subsystems in a space environment and the compatibility with expected electromagnetic levels this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector